Sit back and watch guys as I turn this log into a tree. So I think we can all agree that there's just something magical about plant propagation. Sticking a piece of wood like this into a pot of soil and getting it to root and then grow into its own tree. The other thing that's absolutely fascinating to me is that when you do that, you get an identical clone of the parent plant. So we're going to answer two questions today. One, can we root this massive fig log? And two, how long will it take us? And if we succeed with this, this might just be the largest bonsai the world has seen in the shortest amount of time. Let's do it. is massive and I'm starting to think the figs are a hardwood tree because it's got some serious heft to it. I mean this thing weighs a lot. I just had to lug it about a half mile and it was not easy. But we got it home, we got it potted up. Look at the size of this thing in here. It's two foot tall. I put it about four inches up from the bottom of the pot with fine fir bark underneath and all around it. We did put the Hormidin 3 on it. I've got my rooting powder right here. I'll put a link in the description if you guys are interested in checking out what that is. And uh, we're just going to rock and roll and see what happens here. Now, I did one more thing because uh, I wanted to hedge my bed a little bit here. I've got one more cutting. So I took a smaller branch as well. Now this is 19 inches long. I shoved it in a one gallon pot here. And I mean, this thing alone is a massive cutting right here. And I've never even rooted anything this size, but I am really excited to see what this and this can do. So we're gonna put these right in the back of the hoop house here. We're gonna give it a little bit more time and we'll come back and show you guys when something's happened. So there they are, and these things are massive, man. I am so excited to see what we can do with these. I've always wanted to root cuttings this size. Look at that thing. It's gotta be close to six inches in diameter. It's two foot tall, and then we threw in a little bonus cutting here, and this one's 19 inches, and it's probably two inches in diameter in a one gallon pot there. This is a five gallon tall pot for nursery trees. Massive cutting. I'm gonna keep these guys watered just to make sure they don't dry out. I'm not too worried because they're so big and thick and they can hold so much moisture in them. But uh, we'll just keep an eye on things and make sure that they're doing okay. I'll come back when something's happened here and we'll show you what is going on. Okay, today is July 10th and I gotta show you guys something that I am extremely excited about. All right, first of all, before I show you what I'm extremely excited about, let me show you something else that I'm extremely excited about, and that's all these figs. I repotted a lot of these little varieties. This is just things that I'm holding over for next year to get out in the orchard, some of it, but look at this Ben's Golden Riverside. All that new growth coming onto this guy. Lots of cutting material. I'm really excited about this one here, but look at this. I picked up a new variety this year from Fruit Nut. So we've got the Bordeso Negra Ramada right there. And we've got one little fig just starting to grow. Look at that. 
beautiful striped fig. I love these striped varieties. Just really pretty. And I'm excited to see that grow on. I'm kind of waiting. I want to see a bunch of new growth start shooting up from that guy. But we got a lot of new things going on here. Martinanka Ramada. Now I did plant one of those out in the orchard. But this guy's doing pretty good right here. So I thought I'd just leave him in the hoop house. Just as a little added insurance. In case the one out there doesn't do so well over the winter. We've got little tiny baby striped figs. Just starting on that one. What else do we have in here? I am really looking forward to this one right here. Galatia Negra. I think I said that right. And I got this one from Fruit Nut as well. Man, that guy just sells some awesome quality plants. Nice stout stock. And then I got it and it just started taking off. And this is all new growth since it's been at my place. But I love that red color on the back of the leaf right there. So beautiful. So this is what I really want to show you guys. And there it is, our two cuttings, massive cuttings, huge cuttings, biggest cuttings I've ever rooted. I haven't tried to see if there's any roots. I don't want to disturb things in there, but look at this. I saw this starting to sprout. Look at that. We've got a little growth there, and we've got a little one down here. Let me see if I can get in there and show you that a little bit closer. Look at that. Look at that little growth down in there, just starting to shoot off. These larger cuttings always take longer to get started, but once they get started, they really take off. And I think these things are gonna make for some really cool bonsai material, man. I mean, it's already a bonsai. Look at the stock on that thing. But look at what else I saw. Look at this right here. Look at that, guys. Wow, we've got new growth on this massive cutting right here. Isn't that so cool? So we're working on it. We're not quite there yet, but I will definitely come back when something more has happened. Here we go. All right, so we started this project about May 5th. Then we did a little update a little over two months later. Today is August 17th. We are three and a half months into this thing. We gotta see how this massive cutting is working out. And I am excited to show it to you guys and see it for myself. Real quick though, you guys wanna check out the figs that we looked at in that last clip where you got to see how everything was progressing. We've been putting on tons of massive growth. So check these guys out, man. This is our Ben's Golden Riverside and it is doing the best of all of them. Well, I, you know, it's hard to say. I got that Galicia Negra that's just growing massive as well. But this has been here in the hoop house for a couple years now and I've pruned it back each year for cuttings. And every time I do that, it sends out more robust growth each year. Look at this, just a huge, beautiful fig man as it gets established and well rooted in that pot and then we've got some figs coming on it i'm never going to see those guys fully ripe and it's just way too late in the season their main crop and it just got a late start but look at the rest of these guys right here so we've got our saint martin i picked a lot of these varieties up just this year and they're doing so good but that saint martin's got some new branching going on there we've got some figs coming on don't know if they'll ripen this year but we've got them going on there this uh, Adriatic JH I've had for a while. I just pruned it back and it's starting to take off again. We've got that Maltese Beauty and it's recovering. I had to up pot it. I had it in too small of a pot. Had to up pot it and fertilized it and now it's starting to recover. You can see the new leaves coming out. We got some figs down in there. They might ripen. We got a lot of warmth to go. We've got that Strawberry Verte back in there growing real nicely. Look at that Galicia Negra. Remember that last little clip I showed you guys? And we had, that's where it was sent to me when the, the growth was that high. And look what it's done. Look what it's done. In just a short amount of time, this thing is massive. It's growing into the side of the hoop house there. But I just love, I love how all these are doing. This one I got from Dan. Again, thanks Dan. You sent me a beautiful fig. And look at all the growth and the figs it's putting on. This is that Regato del Salento, the PB version. And it's got some beautiful figs coming on it. I don't know if you'll see this video, Dan, but there's a fig tree, man, and it's looking fantastic. Our Martinique Armada. I think I over-fertilized this one. Look at that massive leaf on that thing compared to my hand. But anyway, it's really starting to take off. This one I've had for a couple years here. It needed to get up potted, and now it's starting to do better. But like I said, I think I over-fertilized this one a little bit because those figs are just so dark green in between the striping there but anyway looking forward to seeing that one mature out in the landscape out there out in the orchard 
Um, Vasilika Black, that's that Herman variety there. We got a Smith over there with some figs. There's that Bordesat Negra Ramada, and that fig just keeps swelling and growing and getting more and more beautiful. I want to see some new growth coming though, but there we go. We got Coldadam Roja. That's starting to take off and do good. We've got our Campanire, and that one's starting to get on some new growth though, or there, or you know, something like that. All right, so let's go show you guys what the real surprise is here. We got to come on over here. Let's go check this out. Loderai King George Rhododendron, one of the most beautiful rhododendrons of all time. I know I'm excited this morning, but I can't get it out of my system. There they are. Look at that, guys. Let's get these things out of here so we can take a look. All right, we got to get back in here. See if I can get to this thing. Get this sucker out of here. Oh, that's heavy. Look at that. Whoa, look at that. You see that, Ali? Look at that, man. We got roots pouring out the bottom. All right, let's let's get this over here. We gotta set this thing down here for a second. Jeez, that sucker is heavy, man. That is so cool, man. Fully rooted down in there. Go check that out, look at that. Look at that, we're gonna pull this thing out. We're gonna pull this thing out and check it out. Look at all those roots. Dang, that's a cool looking cutting, man. All right, we gotta get the second one. Let's get this, this will be a little easier. Just a one gallon pot and it's still heavy for a one gallon pot look at that all this beautiful green growth all this beautiful branching up here but look at this alley look at that look at all those roots coming through there it worked let's get this set down over here all right and then we got to move some things aside we'll kind of pull this out of the way and let's take a look at these things all right i got my two helpers alley and Emily, and they are gonna help me get these things out of these pots. We're not gonna disturb them too much. We just wanna pull the pots out and we wanna see what kind of root growth we've got in there. Cause we've got some future plans for that big one. And we might keep this guy around and do some future things with that one. What do you think girls? Keep you them. Keep them? Are you ready? Yeah. All right. All right girls, so I think we're gonna have to set this pot right here somehow. I don't know, when we pull this out of the pot, I don't know if it's all gonna break apart and just fall away, but judging by how many roots we've got down in there, we might be okay. So here's what we're gonna do. This is heavy. I'm gonna hold this, Allie, and then you're gonna have to hold the pot and try to gently pull that pot away from the cutting, okay? okay. And then Emily, you can help me with that one. Okay, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see if we can, I'm just gonna kinda, Hit the side, maybe. It might be stuck in there. It might be stuck in there. It's a, that's a big tree, man. I don't want to loosen it too much, but hopefully there's enough roots to hold it all together. That is a massive cutting, man. I am so excited about this. Okay, I'm gonna hold it. Let's see if you're able to kind of uh, try to try to pat it, try to tap it. No, 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 not like that. Just try to go go like this. Pop, pop, pop. You ready? Mm-hmm. All right. There you go. Harder, harder. <laughs> Don't push down, just go boom like that, okay? Okay. There you go, it's coming. I think it's coming out. Okay. You got it, Emily? <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. All right, so we had to reevaluate this. This thing is heavy and it is not easy. So both of you, one of you on each side here, be just tapping, 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 okay? You come stand over here. And then just boom, boom, boom. Don't push down, just kind of tap, okay? You ready? Mm -hmm. Emily, go. Oh. Harder, Emily. There you go. Okay, we got it. We got it. There it is. Look at that. Look Turn at that. Around. Holy cow, is it bigger? Mm -hmm. Well, I got to put it down. This thing's heavy. Holy cow, man. Okay. Look at that side. Oh. Is it big? Mm -hmm. All right, let's pull this out. You ready? You might have to tap it again. There it is. Oh my gosh, holy buckets. Look at that. Let's get this in the camera. That is a big cutting. Look at that, guys. Look at all that growth. And look at, look at those roots, man. That thing is massive. Holy cow. Try to move that bucket for a sec, pull it out of there. I'm gonna see if I can. Oh my Lord, that thing is heavy. That is heavy, holy cow. That trunk alone, weighed a lot just when I put it in that pot, let alone the bark with the water 
and all them roots. So there it is in all of its glory. Look at that thing. One massive cutting. This thing started out two foot tall. And like I said, about eh, maybe five, six inches in diameter there. Huge cutting. It was actually the trunk of the tree, one of the trunks of the tree. And it rooted and it's got new growth coming up. It's got new growth coming around this side. Look at these huge roots in here. Oh, you pointing out something there? Look at that. Oh wow, even more new growth. Mm -hmm. I better be careful with that. Little growth coming out there. But look at that. Look at all those roots. Let's zoom in on that. They are just spilling out, man. They are everywhere. I love that. I absolutely love that look. That is a piece of art. What do you girls think? Pretty cool? Mm -hmm. You excited? You excited to do that other little guy? Yeah. That was like our this little guy here was just kind of a fail safe. What's that? Experiment. Yeah, it was it just kind of a fail safe in case this one didn't take. I wanted to see something happen, but that thing impressed me to no end. Look at that. So cool. All right, Emily, you ready? Yep. You can help me with this guy? Yeah. Let's see what this one looks like. All right, so I need you to do the same thing. I'm going to kind of hold it here. This one will be a little easier. And go ahead and knock this off. You get it? Just keep tapping. Here, let me see if I can get it. We got a pop, pop, pop. That's those roots are in there. Good. Go ahead and hit this side now. There we go. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is cool. All right, let's back up and get this awesome. whole thing. That is awesome, isn't it? Look at that. It's going to fall off here. We'll have to be careful, but look at that. What do you think, buddy? Nice. Isn't that cool? That is such a fat cutting. About two foot, well, maybe a foot and a half to two foot. And then we got about two inches in diameter here. Lots of nice growth. Look at this. You see all them roots? That is just so fascinating and so fulfilling. I love looking at that and all this beautiful growth on this thing. This is a hearty cutting, man, and that thing is going to do well. All right, Em, you ready to uh, get this guy back in a pot? Yep. Let's, lo <laughs> Let's lower it down in there. Nice and easy. Look at that. Get them little roots down in there. I can't believe this worked out on both of them so well. Just beautiful, beautiful plants. Now, we've got to talk about one thing, guys, and that is what are we going to do with these things from here? And I've got some really cool ideas. All right, here they are, our two massive cuttings. I have never rooted a cutting this big in this fig cutting. It sure did do it for us. I don't even know if you'd call it a cutting. It's more of a massive tree trunk, but it's really cool to see how all this developed. And I'm impressed with how well each of them rooted. Now, it did take us three and a half months to get to this point. But like I've said in other videos, I really like these big fat cuttings. And yeah, maybe they don't all have to be this big and fat, but I really do like them the best because they have so much reserved energy and there's so much room for error. You stick the cuttings, they've got a lot of moisture, a lot of energy, they take longer to root, but when they do root, they root so assuredly. It's gonna happen, obviously. We've shown that right here. Now, I don't know if this would work with every hardwood cutting, but it sure did work with the figs. I'm sure it would work with a mulberry, and there are uh, several other trees out there that root pretty easily, but I'm pretty excited about this, and I hope you guys are too. Now, where do we go from here? Well, I've been watching this channel lately called Heron's Bonsai, and I've always been fascinated with bonsai. I have dabbled around in it a little. I am not an expert at bonsai, but after watching his channel and seeing how he creates large bonsai like this by planting a tree in the ground, letting it grow in the ground for a few years and get big, and then pruning it back and then digging it up, they get so much bigger so much faster than if you'd started in a pot. So here we are. This thing grew in the ground for a long time. I mean, this thing's probably been in the ground 40, 50 years. I cut the cutting off of it, and we rooted this sucker, and now... My thought is, can we come back and shape this into a bonsai that's like, looks like it's a thousand years old already. Of course, it's going to take a few years to get to a point where it starts getting shaped and looking like a nice tree. But I think it would be really cool to start trying to develop these two plants into bonsais moving forward. Man, you guys are getting bigger every year. 
I can hardly hold you anymore. Anyway, I had so much fun doing this one. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy seeing those roots? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your help. Thank you so much for your help. Those are awesome plants, and I think we should make some bonsai with them. I'm really excited moving forward on this. I'm going to need a lot of help on this because I am not a bonsai pro. Are you a pro? Mm -mm. Are you? Mm -mm. Well, who's going to do all this work? Uh-oh. <laughs> Those are pretty cool little bonsai plants, aren't they? Yeah. Biggest cutting that we've ever rooted here, guys, and I am so excited that something came of it. I'm so excited that a lot came of it. I hope you guys are too. If you do like this video and you enjoyed watching it, please hit the like button, subscribe if you want to follow along and see how these bonsai fig cuttings work out. Have a fantastic week, and we will see you in the next video. Adios!